Yeah, let me go ahead and get a check one, two, three. Let me go ahead and get it. That'll be a check one, two, three. Let me get a check one, two, three. Uh, check one, two, three there, ladies oh and gentlemen. My God, uh, are you with me? Guy. Joey D, are you with me? I'm here, Bob. I'm here. I've been here, by the way, Rob? for the last uh, seven right, minutes in the waiting problem. room. Joey D, are you with me? I am here, Bob. Joey D, can you hear me? It's never yes. easy. It's just, it's never... It's just never easy. It's 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 some of the craziest. Check one two three. I can hear you, Bob. Okay, can you hear me, uh, Joey? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with him. Am I coming in crisp? Yeah, it sounds fine. Sounds okay. good. All right, Mikey V. Do we have Mikey V in the house? Now we don't have Mikey V. Now Mikey oh, V. <laughs> this, this guy, show, is... man. I tell you, bro. I, I... look. I, we were ready, Bob. Bar, we were, you and I were ready. Sure were. Sure. We, here's the deal. Now, if Joe. the shoe was on the other foot, if totally. the shoe was on the other foot, you'd be getting lambasted right now. Totally. And you know what, Joe? He he said to me, he said, if we don't start at 12 o'clock, I'm not going to be able to do the show. If oh, he wasn't coming wow. off one of the greatest internet performances. <laughs> the performance, By the way, the them. amount of flags in the background there, it looks like he's it's in crazy, the United bro. Nations. It looks like- <laughs> it's be better, man, because you know what? This guy wants to bust our balls constantly for not being prepared for the now Wi-Fi he's frozen. going out. His Wi-Fi just went out. <laughs> it's the twelve o'clock start. He's nowhere. To I, be found I changed at my whole schedule to do a twelve o'clock time. I mean, come on, man! It's just a fucking circus here every yeah. single. Oh, Mikey V is connecting week. to the audio. It, he's nowhere to be Mikey found. Mikey V did man. not connect it's to like, the audio. Come on, man! <laughs> it, oh, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in, baby. Oh, I'm in. There he is. Let's give it up for Mikey V. Let's give it up for Mikey V. Welcome back. Come on now. <laughs> on fucking family vacation. This is the best I could do, Bob. Mikey, let me tell you something. Good as, I got a better <laughs> than you got in the studio. It's sad, but it's true. It's sad, but it's true. Coming, yeah. coming off the performance that we just got from Mikey V at yeah. Spanky's Gourmet and, and the food I deserve challenge. a little leeway. Oh, for let me tell you this. Yeah, is he's your gonna week, get a little pal. bit. He, he gets a little bit. Yeah, you're not. Sure. Thank you, see. thank you, boys. Yeah, you're not gonna see. Wow, oh, look at talk. the cranium there. Look at that. Yeah, it's a big. It's a big. Wow, like the that. state yeah, though. Yeah. I mean, I tell oh, you, this is the month this... of Mikey V, man. <laughs> this is, Mikey, you're you're free now. Now you 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 win football. You're free. Do you feel it's liberated? Football. I feel. I got to tell you, I feel great. Yeah, feel you great. look good. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. I, I've got nothing but positive feedback on it, to be honest. I've been getting very positive feedback on it. Working on a little tan. I got SPF 70 on it out of respect, out of safety's sake. And uh, I think I think it's going to work good. I think yeah. I'm going to just I'm going to just roll with it. Yeah, Mikey, it, it it really does, man. I mean, you're 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 free. You are past the by the <laughs> way, I, I took a I took a shot at him on Twitter. Um, because he put up oh, on Twitter oh, that oh. that he did it, and I took a shot at mind you. I'm the last person that should be taking a shot because my day's coming too. <laughs> I didn't. You know what, Bob? Bob, I didn't. I didn't construe that as a shot. I didn't take that as a shot at all. I thought it was actually a compliment. Johnny well, I, I, is a I put up. I put up. <laughs> you no, know, Joe. You know the bald, the bald porn star that people always. Yeah, use Johnny. Johnny, Johnny Sins. Johnny, Johnny Sins. Sins. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I put that up. And let me tell you something, man. Mikey V's that audience, they come at you. They fucking rip me. Bob, the voices? you're up next. Oh, they came for me, man. The voices they, Bob, are you top. got a week They're left. Top. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah, the voices are, are, are part of the same breed of, of the Jerry Don, you know, the, the same the same Jersey breed. Jerry Army. Yeah. The they, Jerry Army. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I got I got I got killed. Um, but Mikey, how does it feel? I mean, you're 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 free now to where now you broke the chains. You do the show. Everybody's already seen it. You're almost by. You get by that first week, and you're home free. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think the best decision ever was to do it right before vacation because you know you're away from home, you're away from work, uh, you're just down here. Nobody really knows you. Although I did, I did get a couple people run into me. Uh, a couple voiceless people came up to me. They were like the voiceless, which is real special. Obviously, we got the flag. We got the. How the could they miss you? Flying. I mean, you're, you're, you talk about That's putting true. yourself That's out true. there for those who can't That's see. True. For those on the audio, Mikey V is at the <laughs> beach right now. Um, I, uh, Jersey Shore, as far as I'm concerned, I could be wrong, but the the the, the fighting V's don't go anywhere but the Jersey Shore. Um, and he's got the flags up. He's got the Have a Day f- a flag up. He's got the Bears flag up. The Italian flag up. It looks ridiculous. It, it looks it like is the, the most... United Nations, Bob. It looks like he's you know. <laughs> I mean, Joe, it's, is that not, not a little so... much? It's. I mean, yeah. I mean, I. I... 
you could find Mikey V from a distance, but God, with those so, fights, so you could see him from New the, York. So here's the thing: is like you know we have we have like like five tents set up. There's about forty of us, thirty five to forty of us. So we have all those flags because it's a landmark. So it's like you know there's a lot of kids. You know, so when the more stuff you have that's easily identifiable, the kids could find it real fast. Everybody could find it real fast. That's why we do it. That's why we do it. It works really well, actually. So and we Mike, love flying the flags. You put up one flag. Yeah, I, I mean, you no, one, one flag. flag's no good. So if you're going to do an American flag, Bob, you're like every other Tom, Dick, and Harry on the beach. Everybody's got an American flag <laughs> flying. You're not differentiating yourself. This guy is separating yourself from the special breed, Bob. So, Mikey, let me ask you for the for the vacations. Do you have to, as far as the kids go, for the parents to go out at night? Do you have a babysitter that that comes by at night? How does that work? So every night we go out to dinner with the kids, except one night because we're with our. Uh, so I'm with my in laws, right? And everyone here also is with their with their parents or their in laws. So Wednesday of this week, all the guys are, we have a 6.30 tea time at Cape May National. So we're going golfing Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday night is like kids night, we call it, where it's just us. The parents will watch the kids and we'll go out to dinner and we'll get, you know, we'll get after it on Wednesday. Wednesday's our night. Interesting. So that, that's what we do. Yeah. Take, we got to talk about it, man. Uh, Mikey V putting together and beating that Spanky's Gourmet time. It is one. I mean, Joe, you came in on the live. Was that not to be the the, the time being? And, and for those who don't remember, five patties, hamburger with the bread, one pound of fries. He had six minutes and 30 seconds to do it. That I, I am absolutely amazed that he was able to be. Uh, you didn't think he could do it at all. No. No way. No way. I'm being honest. No way. Uh, I had I had a lot of doubts myself, if I'm being totally transparent. I, I, I knew if it was nine minutes, I said there, I would crush nine minutes. I said I would crush it. Like, I really thought if I had taken a little bit more time, I would have landed in the high sevens, low eights. I would have crushed it. The 630 really had me nervous. It had me nervous. Um, but you know what? Um it was really, really terrible. I will never do it again. Uh, but I said, the oh, bar high enough. I'll never do it again, Joe. I can't do that again. Well, but, but, I think but, now you are maybe not yeah. that challenge, but you should do another one. Yeah, that was Mike, you set the tone to where this could be an annual thing. It doesn't have to be I, the burger challenge. But so I would someone now... asked me, someone asked me, what would you do if you were to do another eating challenge? I'd be very interested in taking on someone, a shrimp cocktail record. I could, I could bang back. That's a, a fun one. Now, yeah. but, but, yeah. Joey D has got his hand up. Joey D. I, I, I have one that I think Mikey V would do well, knowing how much he likes. Don't say hot, don't say hot dog, Joe, because I hate hot dogs. No, well, I know. I'm, why okay. would I say something you okay. hate? I don't know. I don't know. Pancakes, blueberry pancake challenge for Mikey V. How That's many could he do? Dominic could probably do more than I. Can. <laughs> Dom, but you Dominic said you love. You said fun. you love. Holly pancakes. V. I will say. Uh, I do. I do. I do. She Holly makes V. All makes. Holly V makes a very good. I've had one of the Holly V yes. blueberry pancakes. It's very good. It really is, and 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 it's healthier for you. It's not. It's not one of these you pancakes know? that are going to ca cancel your entire day. It's very good for no. you. How yeah, did you feel after doing protein. the? After doing it, like, did you just feel like bloated the whole day? Joe, I didn't eat any solid meals for 24 hours. I ate <laughs> for a full day. I, 24 I, hours. I, I mean, no with your habit. diet, you hadn't eaten a solid meal in two months. You see, that's, ridiculous. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. Yes. That's not true. But uh, I literally could not even fathom the idea of eating anything for 24 hours. And then finally I ate and um, I felt like shit. Everything was sitting like right up here. Nothing was digesting. It was all just lodged in my upper, like upper respiratory system. It felt like um, I will ask you this, Bob, because someone asked me this. So I did a Twitter spaces the night after I did the challenge. As like a you know post game press conference, and someone asked me a very interesting question, and I'd love to get Joey's take on it. Someone asked, "Do you think Bob could do the challenge in the regular allotted time?" So the regular allotted time is fifteen minutes. The challenge actually is just, "Can you eat that in under fifteen minutes?" That's the original challenge, and I really was like, "That's a great question." That's a great question. I don't know the answer to that. I would say, by the way, Bob was looking at that burger and how intimidated he was. I, I don't know if he could do it. I don't know. No, I think he could. Okay. I, 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 I saw I, this man turn it up a notch. When we did the taco challenge, he had 17 tacos 
and okay. he gets to the point where he 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 kind of revs it up. He 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 dials it in a little bit and goes up a gear. I think if if he had to like if you know gun to his head, I I I do think Bob could do it in fifteen minutes. I think he'd be like the 13, 14 minute mark. He'd be right around there. But I, I think I think he could do it. I, I really I do, do too. I I think it would be very close. I I will say this. I part of it was a joke about it being the most incredible internet feed I've ever seen. Um. But in all honesty, looking at that hamburger and watching Mike V do it with that short of time, I I, I was absolutely amazed. He hammered he, down the hamburger there was within no like way. I got to tell the you, hamburger the almost done in a minute and a half. He had it down the gullet. Joe, I got to be honest. The patties I thought would go down the easiest of all items. I'm going to tell you the easiest things of all of that challenge in in order. The easiest thing was the buns. When you dip them in the water, they evaporate. Yeah. The water method evaporates. Had right? to do it. It's insane. It's insane. The water method is undefeated. Number That's two, right. the, fr the fries. Believe it or not, the fries went down. The patties were the most difficult thing. When I was chewing them, and they, they just wouldn't go down. It was like it was stuck. And I had the cheese, there was a lot of cheese on that too. I think it was just the fact that it was just five thick insane patties. That's what I think it was. I, I, I just think I underestimated. But you know what, Mikey V, that that's that's crazy that you say that because it looked like you put the patties and the burger down with ease, like 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 but you way gotta remember fries. But you gotta remember that was me at my most ravenous, also. <laughs> that was at the very beginning. So I was I was ravenously hungry to start the challenge. I was starving. So like I, I knew I, I would rip through them. But the point is when I was chewing them, I was trying to swallow the patties and I literally was I, I was like almost gagging. I couldn't get them down. It was it was so much more difficult than I expected. The fries, it was just the sheer volume fries it wasn't that they were hard to get down it was just there were so many it was like a never-ending plate of fries it was insane it was insane bob do you think that him doing this this cleanse beforehand do you think that 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 was eating or embedding his like performance do you think if he would have just been eating regularly and That's, did that he would have been better off or do you I, think, I, I, I there's two I was, theories the one theory to me is that because he ate less, his stomach maybe shrunk a little bit and he wasn't used to eating as much. But then the other the other flip side of that is maybe he was so hungry because he hadn't eaten a big meal in a while that he was able to do it. I, I what is what do you think? I, I don't know how to how to see it. I I was I was definitely worried about it. I think if you look, I think if you ask one of these these eating guys, if you ask the Joey Chestnuts of the world, I bet scientifically it's actually it 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 doesn't help you. I think it, it hurts you. If I had to I guess, agree. I could be wrong, but if I, I did, had to I, guess. I did do, I did a little research and I, I, I was like, of course you did. I Googled, I Googled day of eating contest preparation a couple of days before. And they said in the week leading up the couple, like 72 hours before you need to have one max out meal a day plus your regular meals. So the two days before, I had two gigantic dinners, not bad dinners per se, like not sloppy food, but I had huge dinners the night before and the night before that. So two nights in a row, I went balls to the wall with a huge dinner. And then the day of, it said to wake up extra early. It said, don't eat any solid food, just have a protein shake or something, and then stretch your stomach with water at around 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, which is what I did. And it worked. It worked. I mean, it worked. It worked. And listen, it may not work for everybody, but it worked for me. And it seemed like a reputable uh, source. So I, I just I took the ball and ran with it, and it worked out. Did um, I tell you? I tell you what ain't working is that audio. That audio. I know, <laughs> man. That audio is gonna be. It's I was, tough. It's, it's tough. tough. It's tough. Yeah, it's man. it's 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 gonna be a rough <laughs> listen for the folks this week. It really is, dude. I mean, I've had some bad I'm on the ones. Beach. I mean, I'm on a beach. I don't know what to. I don't know what to tell you. I'm on the beach. Folks, our next sponsor is a sponsor that I just so happen to use and take every single day, a product that I use and take every single day, Athletic Greens. You cannot go wrong when you're taking Athletic Greens. I wanted better mental health, physical health, gut health, and that is exactly what Athletic Greens does. You cannot go wrong when you go Athletic Greens. With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you are absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, 
probiotics and adaptogens. You can't go wrong. It starts your day right. I do it. I take one scoop of the athletic greens, down it with the water, and I am good to go. Mentally, I feel great. Physically, I feel great. After a workout, I use it, and it is absolutely terrific. Now, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. Do it with Athletic Greens. You can't go wrong. I mean, I listen to the dedications there. There's no no questioning that, but it sounds like it sounds like we have him calling in from fucking Ohio or some yeah, shit. He's, he, it's like it's like he's Tom Hanks from Castaway right now trying to do a podcast. With Tom. It's 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 a tough it's live a tough live from a cave in Russia. We have tough there. listen. Yeah, tough <laughs> listen. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, um, fellas, question for you. Um, I I really hope that one of you guys did. I'm not so sure that you did. And I I really got. A lot of feedback on it to where I do think this is the new wave. Did you end up giving that bagel a try, Joey D, with the bacon, egg, and cheese and the and the scallion cream cheese on the bagel? I don't think it's for me, Bob. No, I, but, I you know, but, but you owe it to me to at least try it, though. I mean, I, I, I'll, I'm willing to try it. I just don't think it's like I don't think you need a spread when you have bacon and eggs on top of it. Like, but 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 keep in mind the big reason why you're doing. First off, I'm telling you it plays. But secondly, it, it what it does is the bacon, egg, and cheese isn't enough. It adds that extra element to where that cream cheese now makes it to where it is enough. Maybe I mean, listen, I'm willing to try it. If it was like butter or something, I think I could see like it working. But with the cream cheese, I don't know if that. I don't know with the eggs and stuff. I, I'm willing to try it. I have not done it yet, though, Bob. To to answer your question, I've not done it. Um, I don't know if it's for me. I'm willing to try. If you if you really want me to try it, I'll try to give you my honest God feedback. Michael, I really will. I haven't tried it yet, but now I've heard from another person other than you, Bob, and I don't remember who it was. Uh, they must have listened to the podcast. It was one of my buddies. I just forget who, and they they co-signed it. They co signed Yeah, I got a lot of co signed. I'm telling wow. you, they co signed it. They Look, did it. So now, all right. All right, I'll try it. If if it was if it was like a couple people that came to my defense, I would say maybe you back off of it. I had so many people come to me and say, "Bob, you're, saw, this is real." I did see that? Who suggested that. that you did it in the first place? I've seen it. I remember I told you about the TikTok guy that keeps lo- that keeps gaining weight. Oh yeah, yeah, the TikTok guy. Yeah, he's terrific. You have so many of these TikTok food guys. I don't even know which one you're Beautiful talking about. Beautiful thing. Look, there's a lot in the game. There's a lot in the game, but I could. I mean, I'm I'm a sucker for it every single time. Or even not like many the in the game. Guys. Not many. Not many in the game could finish that burger in under six minutes thirty seconds. No, that's correct. That's correct. <laughs> that's, Just so we're clear. It is. What we need to what we need to also state is the fact that we had what like five thousand people in the live like going nuts. <laughs> well, we. <laughs> How we oh, doing? How are you? Vicky Volps. Vicky Volps. Big, big time. Big Vicky time guy. Adam, time. Adam, another fan. cast big, of characters here. Big fan. Big fan of the program. Nice to meet you, big dog. Pleasure. I mean, are we running a podcast here, Bob, or what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, dude, this is, you swear we're on a FaceTime right now, just shooting the shit, like, the, the, you know. Joe, you know what, Joe? I show up week in and week out. One week I'm going on vacation. I'm still here. I'm trying to do my best. What would you like from me, Joe? What I mean, you maybe, like you know, maybe not half the beach come and say hello and during the wow. podcast, you know? Wow. That's my, that's one of my dearest friends. Joe. I'm wow. sure he's a hell of a guy. I love all your friends. I'm just saying, you know. You know, you, you, it's it's just it sounds like we're listening to you through a muffler, and then we got you know we got we got friends of the pod coming in and saying hello wow. during the podcast. Well, he dropped off. He dropped off a cocktail. Though. All right, you well know? that was wow. very thoughtful of him. I'm just I'm thinking of the listener, Bob. I'm thinking of the. All listener. right, look, I, I I respect that. The problem is for me. I'm glad you said something, Joe, because I don't have the leg to stand on. Because usually the audio <laughs> issues have been me. Mikey does show up every week. Now this is a bad week for him. There's no doubt about it. 
but <laughs> I, I can't, I'm in no position. It's almost week. like he, he anticipated that it was going to be an off week. And so put on the performance of a lifetime prior in order to compensate for the. I'm just saying, Bob, it's, it's no coincidence that the burger thing happened, you know, a couple days before we have, you know, the worst audio and, you know, I'm, you not, know, I'm not blaming it. Joe, Joe, you want to know something scary? And Bob, you want to know something scary? Very scary. The fact that I came in at six minutes and eight seconds and only beat that challenge by 21 seconds, which I guess in the world of eating may be a significant margin. I don't know. I'm not a professional contest eater, even though I'm but probably better man. than seven. I'm probably better than 70 percent of the professionals out there. But that's 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 a story for another day. <laughs> um, the fact that I only came in at 608, I thought when I finished those patties, I was like, I'm going to do this in like five minutes. And the fact that it took me every single ounce of energy and might and determination to clock a 608 is frightening. It's frightening. Who it's is frightening. this other guy who did the 629? Because he might come back. He's a he teenager. might come back for the throne. He's a teen- he, he was there the day of. He was at the challenge when I did it. He was there in the audience watching. Oh, live. whoa. Well, but, but, whoa. Yeah. So, why didn't so you... is he going to come back and try to beat you again? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. my yeah. God. But, I, but Mikey, I, I can't believe you didn't hand it over to him. I would have loved an interview with him. So here's the thing, Bob. He walked in as I had already when he started and people okay. like in the in the place were like oh, oh oh and i was like what are they doing oh, oh, oh. I have no, who is this kid like i have no idea who he is turns out it was him he talked he chirped a little bit at the end too did he really he goes you know the hard thing was is i wasn't even really hungry when i did this challenge i go okay <laughs> okay okay, okay. okay. Now, okay. now what do we do bob if he, this kid comes back and dethrones mikey v oh are well, you are I'll you not you coming back mikey's saying that no, he I, ain't bro, he ain't doing on, nothing like, no, now on, mikey man. mikey you're come like a on. ufc fighter to wear all that training yeah. that went into it and everything you do get you get some time off for sure. Yeah, you get oh, yeah. well deserved like six months or four months. Yeah, that's about what they take. That's about what they take. Four to Bob six months. Bob is like Bob is like fucking PT Barnum. He, he, he is really. He's like, he's like, he, by the way, Bob has no idea who that is. None. Bob, have None. you never you heard of the Barnum and Barnum and Bailey Circus? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, PT Barnum was like the guy who he was the circus leader. He was like the you, yeah. got the, you yeah. know. Yeah, he, yeah. Bob's just—it's like, like, a good like, joke. Like, it's just—he's like, he's like, listen, my freak, my freak will be back in like six months. Okay, just give me six months. Give me six months before. No, I but legitimately, I do wonder. Like this kid might come back. Is he a big kid? Now, I saw a picture of him. So that's he's he's in yeah that picture, Bob. That's why I had no idea when he walked in. I was like, that's not you. I go the picture I saw was a fat kid. This kid is an in shape twenty one year old scallion. This kid's oh, in shape. No. This kid is in shape. And when you're that, <laughs> when, you're that when you're that young, you could just do things that people at my age can't do anymore. You know, you could drink like a bottle of Jack Daniels, wake up the next morning and run a half marathon. I can't do that. Yeah, I tell you what, I used like, to be this able to do t- things. Took its toll on me. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, I think you know too. Just from a mental standpoint, when I when I turned thirty. I don't know how much of it's mental, but even just hearing, you know, I used to say my age and and people always think I'm older than I am. People used to say, man, you're so young. You now I say 30 years old. What's that? That being said, Mikey V, you got to hear what I have. This kid's back is in shambles. Oh, don't do that. The guy, the guy, the guy told me. This guy just airs it all out. I I don't want to talk about my back. To be be quite honest, Well, we're talking about how we're getting older and how we're falling apart a bit. I mean. You know what? I feel I'm honestly offended that Bob didn't take solace and it didn't take shelter in, in, in confiding with me about his back. He knows I have documented back problems. You know, I have oh, a Mikey, back. you're so I, big. Apparently your back's bound to be, you know, in shambles. You've got a large I spine. Maybe I could have helped father out, you know? He you guys, he doesn't tell me these things. First off, you guys, you guys are seven years older to me to where it's, it's more appropriate if you guys get back problems. It really is. But but to have to go to the emergency room <laughs> on my back was it was it a herniated disc? What was it? Is it scoliosis? Uh, all right, so here's the deal. Here's the I'll be I'll be completely honest. I'll be I'll, look I'll be completely honest with you. I I got off of a Zoom call. 
okay? And I was at my parents' place in Jupiter, <laughs> and I wish it happened at the gym or something, but it didn't. I just got what off the Zoom you, call. Did you sneeze and you're back? <laughs> Come on, man. That happens to people, Bob. I'm being serious. No, I was on a Zoom call and I got out of the chair and it was like a terrible. <laughs> it was out of back spasms. <laughs> it's really embarrassing, bro. And, dude, I told him about it. I told him on the hospital he was cracking up. It, it's very embarrassing. And no, because it's not like he heard it playing pickleball or golf or he was like running or working out. He got off a chair and he pulled his back out. Yeah, <laughs> right, listen. so right, listen, we always said Bob was an old soul. I mean, now he really is. This is really embarrassing. Zoom, by those, the way, some, some of the Zoom call negotiations can get <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're real rigorous. <laughs> oh, I, uh, it, my my back just went into a spasm, and and I couldn't it's move. The worst. It's the worst, Bob. It's the worst. I was literally up on the floor for an hour. I could move the last it, time I took my back out. Bizarre. It was a chiropractor, Bob. And and well, my mom and dad had no idea what to do. It was very bizarre. I, I couldn't move. It was terrible. And <laughs> how'd um, they get you up? Well, they they helped me. It took me to get into the car because my sister said I gotta go to the emergency room. I it took me about I, I would say 20 minutes to get into the Jeez. car. I, it was terrible. I couldn't move. But we get to the hospital and um you know, you're, once you go to the emergency room, you're in there. You know you're dedicating your oh, next five man. hours to that place oh, minimum. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. oh, so yeah. the whole oh. thing goes down. Long story short, you almost, when the doctor comes in, you almost, they did the X, the CAT scans. I mean, you almost want them to say that they see something, A, so you could target what just <laughs> happened, but B, so you don't look like an asshole for just putting up the scene that you just put in. My mom and dad came to the emergency room with me. So they're there for five, six hours. The doctor comes in and not only does he say, I see nothing. He said, I see absolutely nothing on the CAT scan. <laughs> That's tough. That's it tough. really was. I mean, it's so good. So what did they but... diagnose you with? It's not scoliosis, is it? He thinks that he thinks it's muscular. He said he thinks I muscular. Some... What, yeah. is that? I had, I had, <laughs> what does that I had, even mean? I had such a good one line joke for that line right there when he asked, what, what do you think it is? But I can't say it. But I'll you on the side <laughs> well, now you got to say it. So oh, well, now you got to no, say it. I, 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 I can't. I'll get canceled, Bob. I can't. Okay. I, can't. Right. I can't. Fair enough. Well, okay. that, that audio keeps up. You might get canceled for that first. <laughs> I mean, Joe, I'm being honest. I, I'm supposed to boot him This is him worse out than again. any Bob's audio. It, that it really is. Seen. This is the most disgusting <laughs> audio we, to the point where it's really cramped my style and it's made my back hurt even more. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Everything Bob's I'm saying, you guys, you, guys have heard, you guys have heard literally every word I've said. Every word. Because you're responding to everything I'm saying. We have you headphones on. Yeah, the listener on the, at home on, you know. The listener is the listener's going to hear crystal clear. Don't you worry about oh. it. Crystal clear. But, crystal, uh, you know, comment below if you hear crystal for <laughs> for the uh for take well, us no to the buyer cell, Bob. For the, to the buyer cell. For the <laughs> we're gonna go to the buyer cell. But I will say for the doctor to not just say it, it was like he was taking a shot at me for him not yeah, just to that's say obnoxious. You don't it, need the absolute no, and it made me you know feel like I kind of wasted my mom and dad's time to to not just say nothing. Bob, Absolutely. what is your pain threshold like on a on a on a meter of That's one a great to question. ten? That's like, a great are question, you Bob. able to take pain well, or are you a bit of a bitch? Well, well, right now I'm. A <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking from like a, a, a one to ten, and be honest. Like, we're not questioning it, but like on a one be to honest. ten, like are, I'll, I'll tell honest. you right now, my pain threshold is very very high. But when I get sick with like a cold or something, I'm awful. But like, if if it comes to physical pain, I can take a lot of it, as you can yeah. see with the garage door video. I, I mean, mean that's... I I would say the pain of it of it happening when it happened was a nine to ten. Uh, my threshold, I'd say, is about a five. Okay, that's not very good. It's a five. I mean, it's mid range. <laughs> I'm mid range. <laughs> how about how about Joe, saying you're a five? Joe asked that question. He's like, if I'm going to be honest, uh, my pain threshold is as is, is high as it could be, Bob. Of course. But I didn't say it. I did yeah. not say how high as it could Do be. Do you think, would you expect anything less? <laughs> and by the way, I did also say that I'm 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 not good when I get sick. When I get sick, I'm I'm a little whiny baby. But like, that's, when it's, that's like, 
That's a bad thing, though. Anytime a guy has a cold, it's like the thing. It's like, you know, guys with a cold act like they're like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Nine months yeah. pregnant. Like, that's yeah. a thing. I think that's part of the course. And then, and then just to tap to cap it all off, the doctor says, you know, take a few days and and see if it's back to normal. So <laughs> now the back's fine, but it was tough, man. You don't. Well, want we people. need that back good for Canada, dude. That, yeah, that be, thing. No, I feel great now. It's gone. Oh, it's never been better. You that's... should see a chiropractor, though, Bob. No, because... it, no but long. listen Bob, to me it, because they're Bob, specialized. Was it, upper, was it upper or lower back? Upper or lower? It started on my ab region, and it transferred. Scoliosis. It transferred to my back. It was it was bizarre. It started at the end okay. and and okay. it transferred over to my back. It was really it was bizarre. But I never you had. May wanna, you may want you may you may want to invest in a foam roller. Oh nice come on, no roller. come on, man! I I don't need a. I never had scoliosis. Okay. The rib cage. Right, don't do it. Don't, don't take care of yourself. Scoliosis. This is the rib okay. cage can be pushed against the heart and lungs, causing breathing problems, making it hard and difficult. So hey, it I'm could have been all right, Joe, 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 he, he doesn't have scoliosis, Joe. That's you believe this guy, man? Accuse me now of scoliosis. <laughs> Joe, do me a favor. Can we can we go to the buy or sell? Yeah. This is ridiculous. I just care about my friend. I'm sorry. I'm worried about your well You should go to you should go to a chiropractor in all honesty. Honestly, Joe, I'm surprised you didn't tell me that I got cancer. Well, I wouldn't name say of that. The, name, name of the episode has to be Bob has scoliosis. <laughs> that would bang. That would bang. <laughs> Bobby, no, Bob, the, the, the curious case of Bobby Backbones. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. That. By the way, I, I will say, and I do want to apologize, this is the worst episode of the Brilliantly Dumb show we have ever put out. Right no, now, that's I not true. No, it's true. It's disagree. true. This I is the worst. Disagree. I mean, in terms of like that's production bullshit. value, that's yes. No, bullshit. you know what? That's I think bullshit. I think I think we've come in very low energy. I think um what? Mikey's audio, it's like he's coming from under the ocean. I, I think <laughs> what are you talking about? I think Bobby? it's been a terrible episode. I, do. I don't I disagree. I don't think it's I been disagree. a bad episode. I think I, production I, value. I, I, I will go ahead and bet you that this episode does more views on YouTube than the last episode. How much do you want to bet? Oh, I'll he's going to be, he's gonna be right refreshing now. his computer. Oh, Mikey, I'll, 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 I'll put, <laughs> I'll, I'll put um, anything you want. I'll, I'll, by the way, the last dinner, episode. Let's put a dinner on it. Let's put a Whoa. Dinner on it. How about this? How about this? We'll, we'll put the, the loser has to do a food challenge in four to five months. Oh, damn. Okay, so you either have to double down. What's wrong with that? <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's great. That? I think that's a that's great fine. idea. It's really Bob. good. That's fine. Oh, that's by fine. the way, the last episode broke the top hundred. So, oh, trust me, that's why I want to do the bet. That's a done deal. More views on YouTube for this episode than the last episode. That's the bet, Bob. Okay, but YouTube when do like we? Hey, wait, wait, wait. When do we count it by? What we should say by the time that we film the next brilliantly dumb show, we take a look. And, and yes. that's when we judge that's fine. by. I think that's, that's, that's a that's parameter. Fine. For that's sure. Fine. That's oh, fine. Screw That's fine. <laughs> Mind you, I have a week. I have I'm a week confident. advantage. I get an extra the week. Title, the the title. But I have I have a copy out. The title of the episode has to be Bob has scoliosis. Oh, that's tough. That's pretty <laughs> fucked up, man. You guys are. I, <laughs> Bob has do numbers, scoliosis. Do numbers. Yeah, it'll do numbers. It'll do numbers. Well, that's not good for you, Bob. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, both I people know, are gonna not listen. <laughs> Bob's gonna jump on another interview, and the first question is gonna be like, "So how's the scoliosis going?" <laughs> Bob's, gonna be, Bob's gonna be on Make a Wish pretty soon. <laughs> I'd rather not do Bob as scoliosis, but if that's what we got to do, that's what we got to do. Uh, but by the way, Bob, please see a chiropractor. Just, just do it. It's Fuck it, off. Get a foam No, I'm Can not we... seeing it in a bad way. It's Can good. We... Can we go into our buy or sell? Yeah, I think yes. so. You know what's going to happen? People are going to come on. They're going to hear Mikey's audio after they get by the first minute where there wasn't any audio. <laughs> and they're going to hear his audio. The and they're going to say, I am getting the All fuck right. out of there. Because the last thing that I want to do in the middle of July is look at a flying Chicago bear flag <laughs> while a guy sits on a beach trying to do a podcast. And hey, I love listen. you, Mikey. And I've had some bad audio, so I can't talk. But this episode stinks. Well, the I one disagree. of the best things about the episode really, is really cranium. Disagree. And by the way, you can't you can't ask Joe because after every week, after every episode, Joe will turn to the technology and be like, I he think will. that was he a will. banger, boys. He that will. I'm like, Joe, he will. suck. He will. He will. He will. Yeah. 
I, 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 I got to be honest. I think this episode's going to hit. I really do. Now, the first minute, just edit the first minute out. Just cut no, the first oh, minute No, no, I think you act as if we don't do that. No, I don't think. I think oh. you got to keep it in. Well, so here's the why thing, would you say? Why would you say it would be detrimental to the episode and then say leave it in? Why would you say that? That makes no sense. To because backwards. people people need to understand the nature of the, the, the struggle. We don't edit things here on the Brilliantly Dumb Show. Some things. Yes, things, we do. Yeah, we do. From time to time. Yeah. From time to yeah. time. Usually it's Joey D being being edited out oh. for something ridiculous that he said. If we're being honest. No, that's like, not true. Yo, if we do a ratio of the things that have had to be cut from this from this show, you ask the big ticket, the percentage of things. I don't think I need to be edited that much. <laughs> Joe. Joe, Joe's got the lion's share. He's got the lion's share. You know what? Hopefully he's not on Do Not Disturb. Let's call it Ticket. Ticket's definitely oh. on Do Not Disturb. Mike, what would you say the percentage is? Real quick, Mikey V. Uh, I would say 75%. 75? 75%? That's great... Yes. Hey, Ticket, you're on the Brilliant Dumb Show here. Fantastic. I'm in the car. Question. Hey, you're, hey, hey, by the way, Ticket, your audio is almost as good as Mikey V's. He, he can't hear you. He can't hear you. <laughs> Ticket, let me ask I you heard him. I heard, I heard him perfectly clear, so... It, it's, it's not about you hearing him, though, Mikey. It's about It's about him hearing you. Yeah. Just ask him the fucking right. question, Bob. <laughs> All right. Okay, he can hear you actually. Take a question. What what percentage out of the three of us, as far as things that you need to cut week to week on the Brilliant Dumb Show, what percentage would you say is Joey D? Oh, it's it's well over eighty <laughs> <laughs> uh, percent. Yes, take it. Yes. Okay, let's go into our buy or sell. Jesus Christ. Um Joey D, buy or sell. I'm buying this week. Um, yeah. As you guys saw, I, I I took a real beating on the beach on 4th of July. I got burnt oh. to an absolute crisp. It was not good. Now Bob's left his computer, you know. All right, there he is. I thought he left. So I got burnt to a crisp. I'm buying this week natural organic aloe vera. Like to buy it at the store is so much better. You cut the leaf open and you take the actual like the actual plant and you rub it all over your chest it is so much better than any of that byproduct of like whatever it is that they use with chemicals and all the shit that they put in in the can like that aloe vera is not good buy the the organic aloe vera bob you look like you're you've seen a ghost or something i'm telling you for future future use go to the store get the natural organic like the leaf the, or, the the aloe vera leaf, cut it open, and it's like slimy inside. And you grab it and you just <laughs> apply it all over your chest. It does wonders. It it made a lifetime of a difference because I thought I was going to be in a world of pain, and it, it I was originally. And, and this stuff helps immensely. Like people need to know about it. Mikey V, your thoughts? Uh, I mean, I gave all my thoughts on my Instagram stories. I mean, I did the Joey Krabs. I yes. did, uh, you know, uh, you know. Listen, I, I, Joe, Joe got burnt to a crisp. I mean, he was burnt bad. And listen, it's funny on the one hand, but on the other, Joe's not a spring chicken, and I'm concerned about Joe's skin. And I think he should go see a dermatologist because after <laughs> a burn like that, after a burn like that, Joe, that was a severe burn. You were approaching second degree burn right there. You're lucky you didn't blister. You're lucky you didn't blister. I'm serious. Well, that's why I'm buying the aloe vera. Okay. 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 Um, I took I took measures into my own hands. By the way, like what people need to realize, it was not even it was like overcast that day at the that's beach. That's when the it sun wasn't is the it strong. wasn't a scorcher. It was not that's like it. I, I didn't even think, and it was only for like a couple hours. I had my shirt off and I put this SPF 30, which by the way, anything under SPF 50 can go kick rocks. Cause yeah, it's, it's not, you might as well not even stuff. fucking apply it. It's useless. I have 70 on my dome, right? Now. 70 SPF. So do you, you do have to put it now on your, on your head, Mikey? Oh, yeah, I mean, it'll, yeah, it'll, Bob. it'll fry, it'll fry it'll like, fry an like an egg. egg. And then how? <laughs> That's right. I just I just said that, but yes. <laughs> how often do you have to shave that, Mikey? Every, every other week. day. Really? Every other every other day, Joe. Yeah. Wow. 
Okay. Well, because once it starts growing in, then then that that ain't no good. You got to commit. No, no, no. We're committed full time here. Look at this. Look at that little shine right there, though. Yeah, there's a little nice. spit shine on that thing. Yeah, um, there is. There is. There's a little gleam <laughs> on it, isn't there? By the way, I will say to you before we continue, getting praise from Erlacher is 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 humongous. Oh, yeah. 8.75 Erlacher. Because Erlacher said, score. you know, we call it the Statham, but Erlacher, he was setting that trend for a long yeah, time. He sure was, Joe. But you like how he had to throw in that he was a 10? He's not wrong, but he has to throw that in because he's the most competitive person I've ever spoken to in my entire life. We might see he him makes, at the, at the, he the tournament, Bob. look like he's not. If you do, let me know if he's gonna. I can text him and ask him if he's. Gonna I be saw out him there. last he's... year. I was okay. in. I was in the. I was in Harrah's the casino. He walked by and I was like, "Hey, Brian." He like looked at me like, "Do I know you?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm friends with Mikey V." And he's like, "Oh, okay." Like that scene. Kind of walked by. Let me show this. <laughs> Wait, like, you really didn't know oh, who hold the fuck on, you were. Hold on, hold on. I had never. I said. Heard. I said. I said. Bear down. And he's like, oh, okay, nice. Now tell him, you know, tell him to say hi. Just continued oh, on his day, right. like continued on his day, Bob. Like you had never seen a Joe, thing. You had never told me this. I'm, I'm, I'm this. not making. I was with Perez. I can't make this up. And you saw Erlacher and you dropped. He was like, in the. Day. He was at the tournament last year. He was in the casino. He walked by. I was like, hey, what's up, Brian? Blah blah blah. And he was, by the way, super nice guy. But it looked at me like he just had no clue what I. I said, you know, bear down, cuz. He's like, oh yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah, it was like one of those, like, it wasn't like a first name basis. Let's put it that way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if this story is complete bullshit or nothing because me and Brian text probably once a week, I would say. So I, I find this story hard to believe, but we'll. <laughs> We'll buy it though. We'll buy it for the fun of the show. We'll buy it. That's fine. Bob, we if we um, see him, we can ask him. Yeah. Go ahead, ask him. Ask him. And is he's, he's gonna say okay? Yeah, go hey, ahead and ask hey, him. hey, uh, Joe. If only Mikey V could defend himself. Problem is, he's got no audio. He can't. Even... <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's All like right. he's like he's like he's in court without a lawyer right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to take the stand myself, please. <laughs> by the way, this episode's getting better by the minute, Bob. We it got is. some problems. You know what? It's pretty good episode. It's been a good Mikey episode. V might end up winning after all. Uh, Mikey V buy or sell. Thank and you, there you man. have it. There's Mikey V's buy or sell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell hard. He's a sell fucking beat by Dre on the beach. I'm I'm gonna sell very hard. I'm gonna sell this whole Tom Brady, Tom Brady, Kim Kardashian thing, man. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it very hard. There is no way, and I I don't want to overstate this because obviously it's been put out there, but you know, we don't record when we were can record, but I was on top of this. When I saw the picture of Tom Brady at that white party, when I saw his picture, I I put out on Twitter before the Kim Kardashian news, I said, something looks off here. Something looks off with Brady. Something is wrong. And then come to find out a day later, he's flirting around with Kim K. Tom Brady. There, this guy. And- I mean, good for him, man. No, no, no. Wait, whoa, no, not whoa, good for him. Not good for him. Wait, Joe, I thought his you hit standard, Tom Brady. His, his standard, I do. Tom, Tom Brady's standard is so much higher than Kim Kardashian, bro. You mm-hmm. can't go from Giselle, who's a legitimate businesswoman, made her money the correct, and, and go to Kim Kardashian. Listen, if he's just going to bang He's a divorcee. Hey, what better, what better well, way to on. get back on the hall? If, if he's just going to bang her, that's one thing. If he's going to date her, oh, that's, that's an a edit right there. That's a, <laughs> no, it's not an edit. No, it's not an edit. That should not be an edit. That should not be an edit. Because let me that you. 80% just went down, Bob. So let me ask you this, Joe. You're Tom Brady, and you're going to date Kim Kardashian. And then when your son, who I don't know how old his oldest son is, but he's in his teens, I believe. He does a Google search of Kim Kardashian, and he finds the video of her riding on Ray J and doing things to Ray J. That's going to be something that you're comfortable with, your son listen, watching. Listen, and I mean, I, all I'm saying is no he's trying to get it's back. No good. It's when no you got to get back on the wagon, it. she's one to get on the wagon with. Okay, get on her wagon one time and move to a different wagon. That's all I'm saying. Maybe she's that's what he's wagon. doing. She's got a wagon big enough for for half the continental United States. You get on it one time and you move on. Don't date her. 
I, I really got to sell it very hard if he's considering dating Kim Kardashian. I don't That's think we're going to see dating. No. But by the way, the guy's in his 40s. He's doing very well care. for himself. He's still got some swag. You know, she's you know, in the, she's in his 40s. She's in her 40s too, Joe. Is she's she really? Spring chicken. I think yes. she's in her 30s. Yes. No, she's in her 40s for sure. She's in her 40s, Joe. She's in her 40s. No, here's what I will say. I'm a big Kim Kardashian guy. I, I I think she takes a lot of unnecessary heat. I, I'm, I've always supported Kim Kardashian. As far as the Tom Brady thing goes, it does it surprises me. I always yes. thought that Tom Brady, when he retired, and not to say that it's not his right to be able to go and do this, because he is and he can, but I always thought when Tom Brady retired, you wouldn't see him in this type of way, in, in this type of way. And I'm not saying that makes me dislike the guy by any means, but it is surprising. I thought it would be it's him and his family. It's beneath him, Bob. It's beneath him. It's beneath him. Let's call it for what I it is. It's beneath him. I, yeah. It's beneath him. I don't she's know. A I mean, I, I, she's, a, she's a tabloid TMC. never did anything person in her life until she released a sex tape. Whoa, she never whoa. Did anything. No, let's not That's go true. too hard on. Let's not go too hard on. I, I happen. She's a business lady and a very good. She's a mogul. And you know what? Oh, uh, yeah, she's a mogul. Yeah, she's a mogul. I, I've, I, I've heard some really positive things about her, about how she is just, just day to day and how she, she is with people. Uh, but but I get what you're saying, Mike, to where to me, it's just it's very surprising out of Brady. And he's now he's in all these yes. commercials. And again, not to say that he doesn't have the right to do it. He does. It's just surprising. I thought his retirement would be quieter. I don't think he would want to be as much in the limelight. It's very surprising. Joey Diaz has hand up. I have a theory. so much, so much, so much for that Michigan man standard that they set over there in Ann Arbor, huh? <laughs> This guy's sick. To bring that to a Michigan Ohio State thing is is really. I mean, since the eighties. Yeah, the guy is is thirty years removed from college. That that's great. He's bringing it back. Can't take take the Michigan out of the guy. I guess. I have a theory, Bob. So my theory is that Tom. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It just said low battery on my my headphones. We're we're really. Oh. So 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 here's the thing is. (laughs) is Tom Brady is used to being in the limelight. Like Bob said, he likes to be like talked about, known for. Now he just got a divorce. He just retired. Uh, my theory is he doesn't want to go out in the in the dark and nobody for, remember him. Him going with Kim Kardashian, all of a sudden now the whole world's talking about him again. He doesn't have football at the helm. So this is a way for him to get right back into the middle of all the talks, be relevant, be the person that everyone's talking about. It makes sense. He's the the only thing I will say, Joe. He's the world. The- How in the world could Tom Brady disappear into irrelevance, Joe? He's the consensus best football player in the history of football. I understand, How but you're not talking about him week to week. He was going to be a commentator on Fox. You know what? Mm. Maybe if he took a little bit of time off, maybe a year or a couple of years, and then this came up and it's right now. I look. There's going to. Uh, he has every right to do it. He has every right to do it. I will say it's it's surprising. It's really surprising. And now with that being sure said, is. I will not talk sure bad is. on Kim Kardashian. I think Kim Kardashian is, is terrific. And I, I think she's actually I think she's a good person. I really do. And I think <laughs> a lot of heat. And um no, I do. I do. I mean, what what do we have to go off of? Of Kim Kardashian. What is she? Not- what is she? What are you? Are you going to be golfing with her soon? Is that why you're saying this? Is that what's going to happen? <laughs> Bob, no, but, 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 no but really, I, I've never her. understood the 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 heat towards her. Yes, she had the sex tape. Okay, that that's out there. So, be a lot of people do have sex tapes. But, yeah, but Bob, I mean, I mean what, what is she really? What do you mean, mean, a, lot, do you mean really. a lot? Of, what do you mean? What does he mean by a lot of people have sex tapes? Who do you know personally that has a sex tape? Nobody. You Jamal, nobody. Jamal Murray's got a sex tape. Dave Portnoy's got a sex tape. I will say this. I will say this. That Bob coming to the defense of her, that's, that's the right thing to do. I, 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 I understand. Oh, good for Bob. Good for Bob. <laughs> All right. I'm but, that being said, he might, Bob might be golfing with her, you know, in, in a couple no, months. No, but I don't think. I think I really do believe that you'll see Bob does sports with the little X symbol and the Jenners right next to it. And you're going to see there's some, some kind of relationship. I tell you what, that'll do more views because... in this episode. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course, yeah, of course it will. But this episode is going to do well. So no, instead of Bobby well. Scoliosis, I think we should have it titled "Our Worst Episode Yet." And believe it or not, yeah. like, that would actually help 
get views. I, I, I legitimately think it should be our worst episode yet. Is I don't I, think it is our worst episode. But... Oh, Joe, I'm no, it's, it's one of the best. Thing. It's a top five episode. It's a top five episode. <laughs> yeah. This thing. We got to go to Bob for his by herself. Um, by yourself. We got to get, get rolling here. I got a five thirty reservation. Oh go. man! Oh god! On. This guy, bro, are you five thirty? You got an hour and a half. He has ready. used. Look, this is his bye week, and everybody gets a bye week. But oh. boy, is he using up every <laughs> bit of this. You're goddamn, you're goddamn right, I am. Five thirty oh, reservation. Not even four look, o'clock Joe, right now. We we have to let the man enjoy his bye week. He earned it. He 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 Thank deserves you. the bad Thank audio. You. He deserves Thank the you, off man. week. You would like to Thank think you. he's coming and firing next week because this is. Oh, big. I'll be fired. I'll be he fired. is. In, he is soaking in the spy week, and he has the right. He has the right. You um, better come out guns blazing next. Week. I think this, my- uh, this episode will hit. This episode will hit. You what did you say? This, this like, episode. He's gonna, he's gonna go on Twitter and call out the voiceless to go watch yep. the, the YouTube. Yep. That's what he's gonna and do. So I know. What? And so what? And so what? Um, I mean, I want this to do well. Okay. Um, my buy or sell. If we care anymore, um, so we do got to keep it moving. Is um, is he listening? Are you listening, yeah, Mikey? Listening. Yeah, he's listening. Yes, I'm listening. No, I'm speaking sure. I'm speaking sure. Um, this is unbelievable. Of course, I'm listening. I always listen, Mikey. I know you watched the UFC card last weekend. I did. Did I did. you Did you bet the UFC card? Yes, multiple times over. Yes. Am, am I crazy to say that UFC betting? Might very well fall second behind football for best sports to bet. Um, no. Most most exciting, yes. Yeah. What, what else bet. is there? Also, you get screwed by the refs every time there's not a TKO. Yeah, I agree with that. I yeah, but that. That, yeah, the down, decision, the decision, it's like they flip down, a coin. Nah, I agree. I, I, it's, I, I, that's it's fair. It's so unpredictable, man. It is so unpredictable. It, it it's just it's it's bonkers. UFC is bonkers. It's bonkers. Yeah, but I don't know how else to put it. I'll tell you what, though, man. I I just I'm buying UFC betting. Those I, fights were unbelievable. They're oh unbelievable. my god, it is they were so. so good. Bro, you can bet the dogs. I mean, because they the uh, these underdogs they have a chance. I mean, everybody's got a puncher's chance in this. It it is so much fun, and they but have it. David, down no, to such a science to where, even from an entertainment standpoint, when you buy the card, you see the people ringside and you see the different people there. Um, you never know who you're going to see at these events. I, I just think it is so much fun to bet. It really is for better for. And I didn't do well Saturday betting it, but even losing, I mean, no, I, I, I just about broke even, but even breaking even, it, it was a fucking blast. I got to say this is that. Um, UFC betting is just, it's very, very volatile. It's very volatile. Like, like you had Duplicis, he won that fight when he was a major underdog, uh, which was crazy. You had another big underdog win the second, um, undercard, the co-main event undercard, the underdog won that, which I didn't have that dog. Uh, and then the favorite obviously won the main event, but I just think it's a very volatile sport to bet. It's very volatile. It's very difficult to win consistently yeah. with the yeah. UFC. But that being said, it's an awesome purchase. And listen, they're charging an arm and a leg. That was this. That was an eighty dollar pay per view, bro. Eighty dollar pay per view. That's expensive. Like I'm, a, I buy it. But like, go on I Reddit. You can get the streams. No, yeah, I know. I don't. I need. I need 4K. No. I need 4K. No. I, no. Yeah, just I'm not buy the. Just it. buy the. Just buy the pay per view. You got no business. You got no business. I agree, Bob. Private streaming. The guy just spent eighteen hundred dollars to go to I Vegas and say, back. Joe, Joe, you cannot board your dog. Pop a bottle of Moet Chandon in a cabana private. That was complimentary. That was complimentary. Joe, the guy the spent. Mike, the point remains, Joe. You boarded your dog. You popped a bottle of champagne at a private cabana pool party in Vegas, and then you went to Carbone for dinner. You can't be streaming. By the way, I almost, I almost, I almost bought Carbone this week. I, I, I think it's my favorite restaurant. Oh boy, I, 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 I but, 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 Mikey, could you imagine? Eighteen hundred dollars on it on on two tickets. All right, like, all right. It, you know, it's like at that point, just drive. You know what I mean? Fuck, walk to Vegas for a like, just the principle, and not to say the man doesn't have the it's money. It's a write off, Bob. It's a write off. But Joe, you, I don't oh. think you understand how the write offs work, though, Joe. Just you don't even you know what a write off is. 
It doesn't mean that it makes it free. I almost think that Joey I'm D. I'm deducting thinks, the tax that I have to pay at the end of the year. Yeah, but I almost think that Joe thinks that the write offs, because now he's having such a good time with that LLC. He thinks, it's, like a, it's, he thinks it's a freebie. I don't I think, think it's a free ride. I know it's I still spending money. That, that's that's ridiculous. That he's doing it with Monopoly money at this point. No, I'm not doing that. Don't Let's not put anything for the IRS fucking ears in the world to hear. I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> can we go to the top five? Yeah, 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 yeah. we got, 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 got a five thirty Mike, reservation. Yeah, but Mick Jagger over here has got a reservation <laughs> that he's got to, he's got to, yeah, oh, yeah he's got to rinse guys, the sand guys, off of his guys, feet. Wait a minute, wait a minute, guy, you guys are all over the fucking country every fucking week, and I got. A reservation to take my kids and my family out to a nice oh, don't dinner. Bring the kids uh, don't bring the don't kids do in that. Nice don't bring don't let them in the friendly place. fire. Very nice place. Very nice place, by the way. And I'm gonna get my balls broken for that. That's I tell place. you what, that's you jump, in, you jump in the ocean, you come out, the hair's ready, you don't have to do anything, you're ready to go. Oh no, no, Joe, I gotta shave. I gotta shave. You I'm look shaved. great. I'm stubbly. You do oh, look great. You, you do look great. It. But don't bring, by the way, don't bring Dom into this. That's yeah, not that, fair to Dom, us. Dom, Dom's like, it's a yeah. cheat code when you bring the kids into it. That's that's I not agree. fair to us. All right, that's let's not do fair the top to five. Let's run the top, top five. five. All right, all right, let's do the top five. But this is your bye week. I know we're busting your balls, but you do, you are, I do want that great, you know, on the record that Mikey V got. Episode's going to hit. Episode's going to hit. Episode's going to hit. By the way, I'm going to say right now, my top five is, is pretty flawless. I think I'm winning this week. Really, Joe? Because I thought you were going to say your top five stinks. No, I'll, 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 I'll admit when I don't have a good top five, this top five is really good. Okay, all right. Start it off, Joey DM. Uh, so today's top five. Well, we're going to be the record. Is- for the record, I've never heard Joe ever say his top five stinks ever. Ever, ever once. Never. But, but, never once. But this was one of well, our best top fives. I don't think it stinks. Fives. I don't think it's going to win. But this is one of our best top fives. And the bottom line is things change, especially with this top five. It was one of the, 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 the best feedback we've gotten on a top five was this one. This is our updated version of top five athletes you would let date your mother or sister. I don't know which is better. Sister, I don't know. Sister, 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 okay. sister. Yeah, let's do top five athletes you would let date your sister. Um, mind you, this can now be updated. Things change. Joey D, we'll bring it to you. All right, number five, I'm going to go with a fan favorite, great family guy, says and does all the right things. Best shooter of all time. Give me Steph Curry at the five seed. I think Steph Curry invokes everything that you want in a partner, as someone he, he's great with his wife. He golfs with his wife. Yeah. I, I think he's awesome. Number four, and not many people would see this, but not only is he a phenomenal athlete, he's soft spoken, gentle giant, amazing guy. Give me Shohei Otani at four. <laughs> you might need some translating, but that aside, the guy looks as oh. as as a good a person as you could find, and and you know what, in in the Asian culture they revere they revere the, their wives. So I know that he would treat my sister <laughs> in, in the utmost. No, oh, Joe, you know, you know nothing. You Show know Otani nothing. at four. No. You know, all right, all right, let him go, let him go. He doesn't please. know, but he doesn't know anything about Gentle Shohei. Giant, he wonderful doesn't even guy. have his own, he doesn't know what he's saying. They don't speak the same language. Well, and yeah, that's there's nothing some against translating Shohei. that would need to happen, but you know what? There would they, 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 there would not be a lot of fighting, I can tell you that much. You you know nothing. You are solely going off of the fact that the guy is an amazing Do you not love Shohei Otani? I love him. I love have him. Have you met one person who doesn't like Shohei Otani? But you don't know him. I'm just saying, the world loves this guy, Bob, and he's a hell of a guy. And by the way, you have to take him on the Yankees in a heartbeat. And number three, I'm going with, this is a no-brainer. You saw the Netflix full swing coverage. Tony Finau, family first guy. That should be non-negotiable. Give me Tony Finau three. Number two, I'm going, this guy is, he just does everything right across the board. Everything is right. His family's right. By the way, he's got the patience of Job for what he has to deal with in his family life with his brother. Um, I'm going to go Patrick Mahomes at two. Who's he's with Job? you. Who's Job? It's a biblical character, Bob. Uh, just, yeah. just unbelievable, yeah. man. That's all right. Just keep going. Number one, 
This Mike, is, you mean this, to tell me you know who Job is? Yes. Yes, yes, I do, Bob. In yes, the I biblical, do, in a biblical verse, Job had everything stripped away from him from the Lord and still had the patience to still be revere and accept whatever came to him. So it became a saying, he has the patience of Job. And number one, I'm gonna go with the guy who just ethically is is as good as as you can call it. His decision this 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 last year to not go to Saudi Arabia. To, to play in the MLS, he's been with his wife, he's a family guy. I'm going Leo Messi at number one. This guy is as good across the board as you could find. I, I tell you what, Bob, that, that that top five is pretty spotless. I got I got two I got two in the in the same top five. I okay, there you go. And who's who's going? Me or you, Bob? I'm gonna go. Mikey's got to get to this. Right is now. Don't real. you feel rushed right now, bro? I bet oh. you the reservation is a stone's throw away, too, right on the beach. I mean, dude, it's not. Guy... It's not a stone's throw. It's not a stone's throw. I gotta right, go over the right, bridge. We gotta I gotta keep it moving. The we I gotta keep down the tent. I got a lot to do. I got a lot to we do. We got it. Well, but, but, but no offense. That's why you don't bring people there. Okay. 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 I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Um, number five. <laughs> Spend some time with him this week. This might be a little bit of a bias of the list, but look, it's a terrific guy. Um, give me Christian Pulisic at five. Captain America. Oh, Bob, he's with a lot of women. What's that? He he rotates through a lot of women. This who? From the sounds of it, he's Captain America. He's coveted by all the all sorts oh, of women. You don't think Shohei Otani's out with a lot of women? No, I don't think so, Bob. I don't think no. so. Give me Christian Blues. I think the kid's terrific. Nice young kid. Um, really had a good time with him. I I think he's fantastic. Yeah, um, Pulisic at five. Number four, give me Anthony Volpe, uh, another friend of the program there. Um, <laughs> as classy as they come. I mean, the kid. Bob's taking personal friends now. What? It's I a mean, personal friends Mikey. list. Mikey. Who's number, who's number, who's number three, Max Hunch? <laughs> he might be. <laughs> He's a great kid. He's a great kid. Keegan Bradley. Keegan Bradley. He's young, Bob. He's not ready to settle down. Ex well. Give me Anthony Volpe at four. Number three, this is where I got a Joey D list too. Um give give me um no, I, I, I don't have a Joe. I don't have a Joe thing. I, I, I take it back. I'm going number three, give me Brock Purdy. I don't think Brock Purdy could hurt a fly. That's I really absurd. don't. Okay. Why is that absurd? <laughs> No, no, it's just a, it's just a crazy name. Paul. Keep going. Keep I going. think it's a good. Uh, give me. You Brock don't know Purdy. anything about Brock Purdy. Yeah, sure, I do. I think the way he handles himself is is you very. Know as much as Brock Purdy as I know about Shohei Otani, and I bet you I know more about Shohei. No, you don't know anything about Shohei Otani, Joe. <laughs> All right. All right, Brock Purdy at three. Number two, give me Christian Kirk. Um, oh, that's a really good one. That's a really yeah. good. One. Yeah, friend of the pod. Um, hopefully, still being that Mikey V body bagged them last year, <laughs> um, and he listens to the pod too. Yeah, good friend of the pod. He's been on the pod, believe it or not. Give me Christian Kirk at two, and then number one. I mean, just an absolute no brainer. You could go ahead and lock me in for Tony Finau in the one spot. As good as they come, Mikey V will send it over to you. Number five, give me Connor McGregor. Oh, oh my God. God. You don't yeah, believe yeah, no, that. No, you know, I, I do, you don't I do. actually Still, believe that. This guy's a no, scumbag. This Look, guy, this, this guy, guy proves, you know what, guy Mikey? Proves. You have totally taken this episode off. You really yeah, have. This, I mean, yeah, this, this is this guy, crazy. This, this is guy, like a three for 12 completion guy, with two interceptions and a this fumble. This guy continues. This guy continues to prove his loyalty to his family. He's always with his wife. He's always with his kids. You can say whatever you want. He just donated like a $30,000 check from uh, the 30 grand. Stuff. That's like 10 cents. No, no, yeah. no, no, man. No, it might be three hundred thousand dollar check. Thirty grand is an absolute nothing. He he donated a million dollars to the tunnels to uh, tunnels to tower foundation for the nine eleven thing. This guy is he's 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 often accused and never ever convicted because he is just he's a good family guy, man. He's loyal to his family. He's loyal to his family. He's a piece number of four. Trash. Number four. Give me Tony Finau at number four. I love Tony Finau after seeing the uh the uh the Netflix special. I think he's a great guy. I think he really is a great guy at number three. I'm gonna go ahead and take Aaron Judge. I think Aaron Judge is a, is one of the like few that. good guy superstar athletes left. I like give that me a judge. Lot. Give me Judge at number three. Um at number two. At number two, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take um, I'm going to take Bo Nickel. 
Bo Nickel, the wow. UFC up and comer. I think Bo Nickel is a really special guy. If you listen to him talk afterwards, like all he talked about was his wife and his, she's pregnant, expecting their first kid. Like this guy, this guy's something different. No trash talk whatsoever. He just goes in the octagon and destroys everybody. Give me Bo Nickel at number two. And then at number one, uh, I think we got to have a little bit of fun. Uh, number one, you could go ahead and give me. Um, who am I going to take at number one? You can go ahead and give me uh, Shaquille O'Neal at number one. I would I would let Shaq date my sister. Number one, give me Shaq. I would take Shaq. Are we there? Um, all right. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> all right. I'll take Shaq. I'll okay. take Shaq. Okay. Um, He's a doctor. He, he has a doctorate. Uh, wow. Um, all right. And then honorable mention, I'll go Patrick Mahomes. I'm going Luka honorable, Doncic. Honorable mention, I will go. Um, it's a tough one. I uh, I'll go. Uh, God, it's very tough. I'll go Justin Fields. Honorable mention. Seems like a good kid. The only Ladies thing worse than the audio is Mikey V's top we, five this we week. We appreciate oh, you. I I do want to clarify before uh, we get out of here that Mikey V does just to the voiceless, so they don't come at us. He does deserve this off week. So, yes, we bust his balls, but he deserves his off week. He used every <laughs> single bit of it. But be excited. Next week, um, he is going to be back from his trip and uh, ready to rock and roll. But um, another this, episode. This, was, this is a very good episode, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we, we love you. We appreciate you. And, and the good news is we're going to see you next week because there's always a next week here at the Brilliant Dumb Show. We will see you next time. Take care now, folks.